Feminism is a scam. A few years ago, I was an angry, blue-haired feminist. I once believed that male privilege was real and that I was a victim of the wage gap. Now that I understand the true motives of feminism, I know that this could not be further from the truth and that modern-day feminism is a war on true masculinity. Before women had the right to vote, most were stay-at-home wives, which meant they weren't working jobs and couldn't be taxed. Our overlords didn't like that. Rockefeller started funding feminist campaigns in media, and as a consequence of the movement, women started entering the workforce and leaving the home. Children would then be separated from their parents and sent to Rockefeller-funded schools to be indoctrinated by the state. All of this ultimately disrupting the family unit at its core. Feminism is defined as the belief in social, economic, and political equality of the sexes. But in the West, I must ask, what rights do men have that women don't? Modern feminists are convincing women that hookup culture, using hormonal birth control, and not shaving is liberation. That toxic masculinity is prevalent and the patriarchy must be dismantled. Through movies and media, we're taught that working for the man, climbing the corporate ladder and paying tax is more empowering and valuable than raising the next generation. Women have lost touch with our natural loving instincts and birth rates are plummeting. Men and women are not the same. And by protesting for equality of outcome rather than opportunity, feminists are demonizing and emasculating men. The world desperately needs more masculinity, not less. Testosterone is at all-time lows. Sperm count is at all-time lows. Mental toughness is at all-time lows. The problem is that we've been brainwashed to fear masculinity, but we need it more than ever today. No child wants a weak father. No woman wants a weak husband. They want someone that is purposeful, family-oriented, directed, with high integrity, spontaneous and noble. Fathers in ancient societies taught their young boys to lift, philosophize, and contemplate life. But the Industrial Revolution destroyed this bond and instead caged boys up and told them that masculinity was toxic. Now men are weaker than ever and growing up even more miserable. Insecure fathers have created even more insecure boys. And without a proper role model and initiation, boys never become strong men. Ironically, this ends up affecting women just as much. So why did this video strike a chord deep within the human psyche? Well, the truth resonates, but it also hurts. It, with so many personal attacks and barely any intelligent counterarguments. Cancel culture at its finest. It's always girls support girls until they have a differing opinion. Open public discourse around these topics is paramount. That's how we learn and evolve as a species. We must step outside the mental programming designed to keep us in a constant state of fear and anger and see the elite social engineering for what it truly is. Our freedoms are being taken away without our consent. Our wealth is being extracted, centralized, and given to corporate powers. It's not about men versus women. Left versus right or black versus white we are all one it's about rising up together against a corrupt system that wants to keep us distracted and pitted against each other so that they can maintain power rise up warriors you know who you are